This time on Final Fantasy, we abandon you. Murdering comes later. Understood, punk. Teleport. I'm using my godly powers to get the fuck out of here. Peace! My godly powers to get the fuck out of the situation. I anticipated bullshit, so I stayed the fuck up. <coughs> Obviously, all these places are going to be under attack. Hey, fucking thieving bastards. Oh, yeah. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. I'm not looking at that fucking menu thing. They said we're gonna follow the shouting, so. Woo! When I feel heavy metal. Woo! -hoo. When I feel heavy metal. Woo! -hoo. I feel heavy metal now. Oh yeah. No, no, that works fine. Oh, sorry guys. I'm fucking zoned out. For some reason, I forgot I was recording. That even tastes like Cuban links. wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe He's it'll be your wrong. throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here?
what is with these cutscenes seeming like they're gonna be like fucking long and then so like take a second to step away <clears throat> and the fucking video must end like the instant I walk away. Sid and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. Mm -hmm. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Down the rabbit hole. Just fucking blah, blah, blah. Person to person. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake, He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't right. worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. than beasts they are. Aye. The scum of the twins. Oh, I'm ruined. Picture it, Why are these quests so Your fucking city boring? Guy. of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane? 
commander of the Red Wings. The oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The... pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. I wonder if Conrad has the right of it. We always called on swords and the men of the rock to guard our gates. Oh, this is so annoying. A shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I <clears throat> thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. It appears I have no <laughs> to do. I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. 
I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the <clears> desert, <throat> in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. <sighs> Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Okay, I guess here we go. <laughs> Boys, you have no idea what mistake you've made. I'll take that one. He's all yours. Nope, he's mine. Thank you, though. They mean to overwhelm us. enough at you. Goodbye. Do 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 The townspeople. I don't hear any fighting. That we should hurry. Natalie, 
I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Dalimil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm a soldier. Being a good actor doesn't mean shit to me. Get that fucking comment out of my face. Throw it out, you Donny. Yeah, Donny, dumb, dumb. There's more in here. I want to know what's here. Why can't I go here? There's more. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Okay, well. We got 3,000 smackaroos. We got 2,000 smackaroos. It's so quick. Yeah, but it's so quick, though. Alright. Teleporting away! Woo! Awesome! Awesome possum! Woohoo! First we find Isabel. Okay. Only three minutes into the video. Hurrah. Oh, blokes. Um, we need to go. We to saw blood. ghosts on the far side of the wall. I saw it with my own eyes. A hole of orange flag under a flood. Uh, We're next. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hello. How are you? Do you see anything you like? But you may have. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, no, no, you can, you can fuck right off. You don't even have the good stuff. You don't even have the good stuff. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, have the good stuff. Yeah, okay. Clearly, show me the. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could go faster. The dame. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've okay. taken so many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Leave. 
la 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 Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. <clears throat> it's kind of half oh, the point of being five. a soldier. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Ah, gross. Warm beer, warm beer, so yummy. Warm, warm beer. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family. It's all right. I don't care about your family. Fuck off. Shut up. What do you want, refugee? Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Just gone. Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's... Oh my god. What was wrong about that? Get for trying to drink and play. Ambrosia won't help me here. Well, yeah, how about do now? To escape. No use calling Ambrosia now.
Clyde, look. I see them. With me. Bravo! Should I pry? Save your strength. money. Minimal effort there at the end. more but I'd say we've done what we can for the time being then we should let Isabel know you have the town's thanks don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive.
Our friends seem to have things under control. I had to deal with something, sorry. Now at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. <sighs> okay. Oh, that is uh, agonizingly boring. Put those three quests are out of the way. Hopefully we can actually get into something interesting. And yada yada yada. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. All yours. No fucking way. Come again. I may have more for you. You don't have anything, but I'm going to look anyways. Goddamn halfway work. What a terrible investment that sounds of terror was. Seems the hideaway's lost its app. Oh shit, let me change the song. Oh fuck yes! Gotta do that quest! Was wondering when you turn up. Hello, small our friends, thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos, and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? 
That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <laughs> Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> well, what's the short of it? Myrtle, Ty had told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. But they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, We're what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. So what is Jill gonna stay? Oh well well, hello brother. What will it be today? I oh, just wanted to have a peeky boo. What is it that you wish to learn? Hmm. One must understand one's place in the world. 
Of course. This ends today's lesson. Yeah, cool. Ah, uh, holy fuck! Really? No fucking way either. Whatever. What a bummer. Okay, well, there's one. South Tabor. The pack. It's a sea rank. Sure, let's go. Immediately forgotten. South of Tabor. Tap of War. <laughs> Gotta get all those side quests. Go. Oh. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Used to say the ingredients even exist anymore. Wow. Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Won't be taken advantage of. I don't know why you're speaking to me this way. I saved all your lives. Worthless. There's a storm. Sid. Will there be fun? Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. Mm -hmm. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid-scales, 
the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Now, Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. How oh, very Sanbriquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. Uh. Do save me a bite once the dish is complete. No. I hate this. I hate this so much. It seems the hideaway has lost its Do you see the pad that oh. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Where would he be at Martha's rest? Uh. 
Ah, sorry about that. My dad blew a tire. Apparently he's got someone on the way though, so I guess he's alright. Let's add this last fucking mission to my roaster and we'll go from there. Trouble with your gear or what do you want? Oh, would you look at that? Not bad. much stronger, I do but say it's so not myself. Cool. it. Fine. What am I gonna do? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's. <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. Uh, oh. uh. There was a trader came by. Yeah, yeah. One of our usuals, like, said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Focus saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but. I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Uh -huh. Okay, we gotta hurry. I heard the Emperor was in It's too close. It's too close. What do you reckon we should do? Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh. And just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said, The best way I see how something works is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... About that. Ha 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 ha! Next time! On Final Fantasy. Oh, that's cute, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, next time.